Itla Regional Security Outfit with Community Policing. That's one of the latest developments in their Motekun conversation. But it's beyond the southwest now. In the southeast, the governors have met and started arrangements on a similar outfit. To reinforce and provide improved capacity for the police and other security agencies in their respective states in support of the community policing program. There's also the proposal of Shege Kafasa, a similar outfit in the northern part of the country. It's designed to be the vanguard of the entire north, encompassing every ethnic group and religion. We're discussing security on Big Story. This time, it's the new approach, which some have called regional policing, but many say it is community policing. You're welcome. I'm Ini John Mekwa. <laughs> Be it the farmers and herdsmen conflicts, which Amnesty International found that about 3,600 deaths occurred between 2016 and 2018, with many more thousands homeless and the loss of source of livelihood, which in turn has reduced food security, or kidnapping, which the police report that 1,071 people were killed and 685 kidnapped in the country in 2019, or even the count of the United Nations that at least 1,400 killings has been done by kidnappers and bandits between April and September 2019, the picture of security in the country is worrisome. When the distress farm finished, they go light the bush for a fire. After years of depending on the federal government for solution, as indicated in Section 14B of Chapter 2 of the Constitution, that the security and wealth of the people shall be the primary purpose of government, states are forming regions and state outfit to handle this aspect of their lives. <laughs> It started in the southwestern part of the country with a regional security operation codenamed Operation Amotekun. It's been adopted by governors of all the states in the southwest and now receives the endorsement of the Inspector General of Police. Well, Amotekun is uh, a token effort by governors of southwest to provide some security for inhabitants of the southwest. Biyo, Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, Fulani, Ijo, who are resting in the West to, to provide them uh, some measure of security from kidnappers, rapists, bandits. The federal system has been bastardized in Nigeria. We pretend that Nigeria is a federal republic, but in actual fact, it's a unitary republic. Otherwise, will not have these debates. In the federal system, you have the federal government and the federal units. Who are coordinates? One is not subordinate and one superior. It's the oath that President Bobadi took, that Mr. Abadji Sanwulu took. The only difference is I, Mohamed Bobadi, I, Abadji Sanwulu. So, the federal government made laws. The state make laws. The outfit is to be sponsored by the Lagos, Ogun, Oyo, Ondo, Oshu, and Ikiti state government, with members resident in the state and operating in their state of residence, with a general quarterly meeting for the sharing of intelligence. In spite of how noble the intention is expressed, the federal government's initial reaction to the formation was negative, as the Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, declared the outfit illegal. We want to tell precisely the federal government and the entire Nigeria that we want Ametoku in Southwest. If Isba can be in, in Northern State, if there can be uh, Azaru, there can be Civilian JTF, there can be Vigilante, even that they are carrying arms, arresting even legitimate police officers and being prosecuted. So there is no reason why we should not consider Ametoku in Southwest. The Southwest has taken a decision. The moderates in the Southwest, the governors, have shown immense courage by doing what the ordinary people had wanted them to do long ago. Many of us thought they didn't have the courage to do it, but they've done it, and we should commend them for that. Um, anybody that feels that they don't have the support of the people of the Southwest is, is mistaken. And anybody that believes 
that we can be in any way intimidated into stepping back and saying that we will not defend our people and protect our people from those that come from elsewhere and slaughter them um, is mistaken. There is no going back. And it's something that we have a firm resolve about where we speak as one, we stand as one, we're solidly behind the governors. Every regional group, every group in the Southwest is behind the governors. It's across party lines, whether you're PDP or APC, doesn't matter. The fact remains that those of us that claim to be leaders from the Southwest have taken a position. We will defend our people no matter what it takes, no matter what it costs. This was followed by a series of meetings between the governors and representatives of the federal government, after which the federal government opened its hands to accept the arrangement on the condition of having a defined legal framework. The record has been set straight by His Excellency. I have nothing to add. And now the states involved have adopted what they perceive as a working framework for the success of Amotekun. <laughs> The outfit will be regulated by a governing board with sweeping powers to oversee the outfit in the state. Day-to-day -day activities will be by the core commander to be appointed by the governor. There would be a uniform bill by the six states, but each state will work as separate entities. Their patrol will be day and night with identification and arrests made in relationship with the police. The aspect of bearing of arms is subject to the approval of the Inspector General of Police. A lot of people out there have completely misconstrued what Amoteko is about. Amoteku initiative put together by the governors of the Southwest is not about an exclusive protection of indigenous of the Southwest. It is about safety and security. It is about the safety and security of every person resident in the six states of the Southwest, regardless of where they may have come from. The bill is not likely to propose an exclusive, precedent, an exclusive protection for Yoruba people living in the six states. It is going to talk about ensuring that our highways are free of banditry, of armed robbery, of kidnapping, of all forms of brigandage and criminality in our states. And to that extent, it is a logical extension of the community policing initiative that President Muhammadu Buhari has accented to that the Inspector General of Police has already communicated to the various formations of the police force across Nigeria. One of the negative reactions to Amoteko is the suspicion that the governors could recruit their allies for MISAP. This is why the governors say they have agreed that the community policing strategy be infused into the Amotekun structure so that policing will be the initiative of the community members. Also, serving law enforcement officers like the police and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, as well as members of registered vigilante groups, will be allowed to join the Amotekun Corps. The bill further states that persons seeking to join the Amotekun Corps must get a letter of recommendation from the divisional police officer or local government chairman of their area of residence. We uh, have proposed at eight uh, various provisions in the bill itself. Key provisions in that bill include the establishment of a state security network agency, including its functions and objectives, the establishment 
and composition of the governing board of that event, the establishment of the state and technical corps, including powers and the criteria for enlistment into the court. And as the residents have severally insisted, we have included a provision for, the, for an independent and technical course complaints board. The purpose of that board, residents, is to provide an opportunity for our people to report instances of possible cases of abuse of power, including violation of rights and corruption. These laws and guidelines, apologists believe, would keep the operators in check and create a platform for the expected benefits. Every criminal Amotekuma arrest, there will be record of it. And don't forget, the power of prosecution is with the general of the state. Even if the police arrest people, they have to go to the DPP, handle the files, it's the DPP that will look at it to see that there's a case of prosecution. So when I'm taking one arrest, definitely, the, there will be investigation. The files will be taken to either the police or to the DPP. I don't know the, how they are sorting that out. Either they will go directly to the DPP or they go to the police or the DPP. But clearly, every crime has committed that I'm taking one arrest, they will break out of it. And so, if the federal police are too busy with other things, roadblocks and the rest of them and all the things that happen there. I'm a taking our community people. Their own relations are being assaulted, being killed, being kidnapped. Once they will do their work and they will bring it. And the every arrest will go through the due process of the law. When you bring a man from Idukuri to one police in Lagos. And the reports come that they are kidnapping people, they are living with my DM. Well, it doesn't mean much to him. Because his own relations are back in Kabina. But when you bring a man for a limo show, as I'm taking a limo show, and you say that they are raping one woman inside the bush there, for all the case, maybe his wife or his brother's wife. So that's why it's different. So the affliction of the Nigerian police force will not be so that pronounced with Amotekum. Because actually, the federal government has been bastardizing the world community policing. This Amotekum is the real community policing. Amotekum seems to be finding its fate in creating a legal framework and also the mode of operations. The governors in the southeast have also embraced the regional security approach. They begin with a gathering of high profile security personnel in the region. Elders and prominent individuals of the southeastern part of the country gather at Enugu State for what is termed security summit. Sentiments, however, become tensed after waiting for longer than expected for the arrival of the governor and inspector general of police. There are so many very, very strategic decisions that are being taken. Barely 15 minutes after the workout, the VIPs arrive and the traditional rulers return. The host, Governor Ifa Ngwai, speaks on the concern in the area of security and steps which have been taken so far. Watch associations blaze the trail in entrollment of Forest Guard, which is a novel initiative of the Southeast Governors Forum, and have continued to support the security agencies in our state with security patrol vehicle, communication guidance, etc. We institutionalize the needed collaboration between our neighborhood watch group. Forest guards and security agencies, especially in the area of intelligence sharing. Enugu State Trust Fund Law is in place to ensure sustainable support for security agencies in the state while the state forest guards law is before the Enugu State Art of Senate. We are also on the threshold of deploying our automated drone surveillance solution to give the needed impetus to our security surveillance. The chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum and Eboin State Governor Dave Umahi he reveals the resolve of the governors to launch a regional security outfit and its expected mode of operation. Community policing committees made up of traditional rulers, community leaders, town union leaders, 
religious leaders, it is within the locality, will be charged with the responsibility of selecting and recruiting community policing officers that we work within the communities. The governors of states within the geopolitical zone to reinforce and provide improved capacity for the police and other security agencies in their respective states in support of the community policing program. Each state within the South East geopolitical zone to individually and periodically undertake operations against crimes and criminality in synergy with the police and other security agencies. Number five, the states to individually develop modalities for sharing intelligence with other states in, in the zone on the movement and activities of criminals within the zone. Number six, each state within the zone to increase its investment in social intervention programs aimed at providing legitimate and alternative means of livelihood for our teaming youths. Number seven, the state governors within the geopolitical zone to have joint security meetings on quarterly basis to assess the security situation within the zone. Number nine, the Ministry of Information in various states within the zone in conjunction with traditional rulers, community leaders, religious leaders to liaise with police public relations officers in the five state commands, police commands, within the Southeast in creating public awareness and sensitization programs on the need for active engagement and participation by citizens in community policing initiatives within their localities. Number 10, the IGP to expedite action on the full takeoff of the two additional police mobile squadrons recently established in the South East geopolitical zone to complement existing security architecture and boost safety and security within the zone. The selection of special constables who will be operating in this new outfit is the focus of the Inspector General of Police. And utilization of special constables is provided for under Section 49 of the Police Act. And they are appointed in accordance with the provision of Section 50 subsection 1 of the Police Act. In view of these provisions, which approve their recruitment to serve particular purpose or purposes, and which also confers upon them the powers, privileges, and immunities of police officers within their localities, special constables could be recruited within specific communities, trained and used as voluntary community policing officers to drive the community policing initiatives at the grassroots level. The selection of the special constable shall be done in a process that will actively involve strategic stakeholders within each community. In order to aid effective implementation, the following process are to be in place. One, we shall establish community policing committees at local communities and at the state levels. Two, the divisional police officers, the area commanders, commissioners of police shall identify strategic stakeholders in their areas of jurisdictions and constitute them into the community policing committees at the various levels. Three, the heads of the community policing committees at each of the levels shall be credible, respected, and influential traditional rulers, religious leaders, or community leaders. I have your permission to get buried, sir!
A similar meeting has been convened in the northern part of the country. The outfit here is Tag Shege Ka Fasa. The coalition of Northern Group, which announced the establishment of a security outfit, says that the CNG had written to the Northern State Governors Forum to support the group. They say their aim is to be the vanguard of the entire North, encompassing every ethnic group and religion, and would be patriotic in its operations in addition to performing general complementary tasks for enhancing security in the region. The CNG has, one, initiated practical measures for the setting up of a northern regional security outfit to complement the efforts of the police, the military, the security services to detect, expose and defeat all criminal machinations and carry out specific and general tasks that would realign the attitude and thinking of the public with the ideals and objectives of the founding fathers of the region. Two, the outfit, called named Shege Kafasa, is designed to be the vanguard of the entire North, encompassing every ethnic group and religion, and to be deeply patriotic in its operation. Three, in addition to performing general complementary tasks for enhancing security in the region, the outfit shall also a coordinate operations against the influx of hard drugs into the north, b take steps to neutralize all centers of gravity for the supply, manufacture, and distribution of such drugs and other dangerous substances, c coordinate vigilance to check and expose illegal arms trade supply channels and possession. D, guard against the theft and illegal traffic in kids and other vulnerable sections of the northern population. D, expose operations of fraud stars like the Yahoo Boys, whose ill-gotten wealth forms part of the source of funding for the drug and arms trade. However, the group's action does not resonate with some leaders in the region. The Sultan of Sokoto, Al Haji Abubakar Sahad, says his first variance with them is the lack of communication with the elders. The elites are our problems. The elders are our problems because if they don't get up to lead, the youth will do whatever they want to do. And whatever they do, they will feel they are right. You have to caution this youth by giving them good leadership, not just political leadership every good leadership. Now they have uh, launched their own, uh, I don't know what they call it. Eh? So, Shege Kafasa, meaning what? Eh? Uh, so you can see, so if our youth will now get able to do that, and we're meeting as northern elders, we don't know about it, we don't have a hand in it, then there's a very big problem. But this is the group that I have worked with in the last four years. I'm also surprised they decided to do this without coming to me. But I've always asked them not to do A, B, C, D. I know them, they used to come to me in Abuja, in Sokoto, in Kaduna here. So it's a challenge to you, Northern Elders, to please see what you can do. Don't allow our youth to take over the leadership from you. Perhaps this is the beginning of the creation of a multi-layered security architecture in Nigeria, especially since the governors have resolved to enforce community policing in its entirety. That's our story. Thank you for watching. I'm Ini John Mekwa.